In this video, I will show you the basics how to work with a patient file. I remind you that there are two other videos. One, how you can manually save clipboards to a new patient or existing patient, or how you can manually save to a folder. And that is outside of the patient file, but still inside the RAID Opus database. And everything which you save inside the RAID Opus database after you have created an account is and password protected and the database is 256 bits encrypted. So let me close this PowerPoint. So in the left upper corner, the third icon is the patient file. Here is the list of my patients. And you see I have three existing patients. Now normally you would do the following. When the patient comes in, you would or recall an existing patient, if it's already in your patient file, or you create a new patient. And I assume that the clipboards are empty. Let me now intentionally do it wrong. So I'm taking some symptoms in one or more of the clipboards. And these clipboards are unsaved. Now a patient comes in and I want to create a new patient. So on the little triangle I click and I select create a new patient or on Mac with the keyboard you can do command N or on Windows you can do control N. So I click on it and now you get a warning message. Because there are unsaved symptoms in one or more clipboards, the warning message says what do you want to do with these? Do you want to first save this manually to a new patient or manually save it to an existing patient? Do you want to clear these clipboards? Or do you want to continue and keep the, the symptoms for this new patient you are going to make? So let me select here save to an existing patient. So this is the list of the patients. So it's the top option, save current analysis to an existing patient. And let's say I want to save it here to Jan Steen. And if I open it, I can select one of his consultations. But if I select just the name, I will show you what happens. I click here on save and you get the warning message. Do you want to create a new consultation date for this patient? And if I say yes, a fourth consultation date will be made. And then I continue with the process of creating this new patient. So here I can select if it's a human case or veterinary case. And if I'm in a hurry, I can go directly to the consultation. And if I have more time, I can go first to the administrative window. Let me show you quickly what will happen if I go directly to the consultation. You will enter here in the consultation text editor and at the left in the list of patients you will see that a new patient has been created with the first name the time and the last name the date. Okay, let's start over again and do it in a different way. So I close here the patient file, I do right mouse click and I clear all my clipboards and I do right mouse click and I delete this whole patient. Do you, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now my symptom clipboards are empty and the patient comes in and I want to create a new patient file. So I select here create a new patient and it's a human case and I want to go directly to the administrative window. I click there and there are only two mandatory fields. So the first name and the last name. So I start to type Sandra. Now on the keyboard, I press the tab key or the tabulator key and I jump to the next field. And I say Bellox. And I press again on the tab key and I go to the field of the date of birth. Now this is showing the European date, 
but if you have other settings it will have the US date. So let's say it's 09 and it is 10 and it is 1964. Okay, you can, sell, you can use as much or as little information as you like. So I click now on the consultation. I come to the text editor and you are not obliged to use this. You can also just use it very minimal. And you can use the patient file just to have the first name and last name and to have several consultation dates connected to that and to the consultation dates you can have your analysis or your set of clipboards saved. So let's use it minimal and I type here for example in, in inflammation of the eye. I can start to take now symptoms so I go to my repertory and I take some symptoms so let's say I inflammation and let me do acute and take that one and for example I can do here I pain uh, stitching okay and I take it so you take here several symptoms you have your analysis there and I click here on the patient tab. If now within the patient file you move to another window, the analysis, these clipboards, will be automatically saved. Or you can click here also on the diskette to save it manually. So let me click on it and you get a message that your analysis is saved. And this is the consultation overview, so the overview of all the consultations. There is only one consultation and there is one analysis saved with two symptoms. If I continue now to work on the same set of clipboards, so I go to my repertory and I want to add a few more symptoms. So let's say mind, anxiety, uh, of health, Okay, and I take that one also. I click again on my patient tab. If now I move within the patient file to a different window or manually save, the following will happen. Let me click here on save. You will get a message. Hey, there is already a, an analysis saved to this consultation date. Do you want to overwrite it or create a new one? To make it clear, let me select here create a new one. And if I look here on the overview of the consultation date, you will see that for this consultation, there are now two analyses saved, one with two symptoms and one with three symptoms. So I go back here now to my text editor and I only want to mention the remedy and the potency I have given. Here at the bottom, there's prescription, and I can say, for example, arsenicum. And I press again on the top key, the tabulata key, and I say potency 3. And if I want, I can do top key, and I say the Korsakoff. And if, depending on which method, I can say, for example, fifth edition organ on me message PRN. Okay, if I close this patient file, it will be automatically saved, but you can also click here on the save button. So let me close this patient file. Let me clear the clipboards. I say clear all clipboards. And I click on repertories. Now this patient comes back in one or two weeks and you want to recall this patient. I click here on the patient file and I single click here on Sandra Bullocks. You will get a message. Do you want to recall the last saved analysis of this patient? I select here yes and you see that the symptoms are recalled into the clipboards. And there's a top here of the analysis. 
So if I go back here on the top of the patient file and I say yes, I want to create a new consultation now because this was the consultation number one, the first consultation and I want to create a follow-up. So I click here on create a new consultation. And just to make it clear, I say here follow up. Now the previous consultation is here and this is the current consultation. So you have the possibility to compare the text of the previous consultation and the current consultation. If now I continue to work a bit on this analysis, so let me just take randomly some symptoms. I click here again on the patient. I can click here on the save button. Or if I move within the patient file to a different window, the clipboards are saved automatically to this new consultation. So I click here on the overview button. And I see here that there are two consultations. This was the first consultation with two analysis. And this is the second consultation with one analysis with total five symptoms. Let me just recapitulate quickly. I close here this patient file. I close the analysis. I right mouse click and clear all clipboards. And I start again. Let's say this patient comes back and I want to recall that patient file. I click on my list of patients and I can start to type a few letters or I, if it's already visible, I click here, single click on the name. The patient file is opened and you get the question, do you want to recall the last saved analysis of this patient? If I say yes, you will see that the symptoms are recalled in the clipboards. I can start to work on this analysis. I can delete some symptoms or I can add a few. And if I create here a new consultation, so this is the third consultation then, I will make it clear and say here third consultation. I can see here at the top the previous consultations. I can browse through them, the first one, the second one. And this is my current consultation. So if I take here some more symptoms and I go back here to my patient tab, I can save it. Or if I had switched to one of the other windows within the patient file, also automatically the clipboards are saved. This is the overview. And I see now in this list of consultations that there are three consultations. And the first one, I have two analysis saved, the second one, one, and the third one, also only one. So I hope uh, it has covered the basics of this patient file and all is clear.